Hello and welcome back to an episode of Minecraft Mine Turtle. Yes, we're in the creative world, we won't be staying here this episode, but just a quick reminder, if you want to see a tutorial on that, let me know. If you have a better design, let me know especially. And I just want to show off uh, this thing. Uh, if you see this, this uh, block, it's green. Push this button. Block is there. Push the button again. Block is back. Um, you know the 3x3 three three doors? The good old, we got one in our world. To the, to the opening to that big tower that the coal man made. Well, most of them pull this block down, which sucks because once all the blocks move, this one's still here and it blocks your path still, and then it gets removed. What would be better, I think personally, is if it pulled it up so all the blocks get removed, and then you're left with that one. You walk through, and by the time you're about here, then it gets removed as well. So that way it doesn't slow you down. And you can still get a solid three by three door. Problem is, is vertically down double piston extenders are a bit more difficult. Um, but this is the one I came up with. I'm not sure if there's a simpler design. There probably is. Um, but that's all right. I I I remember a while ago, way back actually, I had a, a design for one which threw this block two blocks down and then covered it back up again, which was really difficult um, but that's that's a different story uh, yeah Th this first part here is just uh, a switcher it's also probably a simpler way of doing this you probably don't need two pistons but that's that in case you wanna uh, make something toggleable it's one way of making a toggleable thing that's on two ticks and it does that anyway that's enough of this I will Go back to the the server and we'll live there for an episode. Bye bye. Here we are in the server. It's uh not much of a server. It's only ever me on it. Um so if you if you if you're like, hey, I wanna play on a server and I won't be a horrible person, I'll I'll respect things that already exist and you know, build somewhere well, there isn't something and I'll hang out with you and we can play all the games if that is you and you want to play Minecraft or you do play Minecraft let me know I'll consider you being on the server if I know you well enough oh that's loud and laggy um, but yeah we're gonna do something today I haven't decided yet what it is but uh, it'll probably be creative, I'm sure. Anyway, we'll get to that right now. Okay, so I've decided what we're going to be doing this episode somewhat. Um, we probably won't get it finished, but I want to make an infinite water source in the coolest way possible. Uh, I saw a gif on the internet, and pretty much it's just one, one piece of water. You pick it up, a bud switch triggers water to flow from the walls and fill up the water again and then destroys the rest of the water and leaves just one block of water which looks amazing useless and redstone intensive just the way i like it and uh i want i want to put in this house because you know this, this house needs some work um and 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 along the same lines and what we'll be starting with today i think i need to rip out some of this house because I don't like how orderly it is. I want the front to be orderly because it's like the entrance. It's like ah, but after that, I don't. I don't want order. I don't want. I want random passageways and things and this symmetricalness. I just need to break it. I think. I think the problem is, is I started going symmetrical, and then at some and I want to break from the symmetrical, but then it just it feels wrong, you know. So now I do it on the other side, and then it's like, but, but now it's not random, now it just feels repetitive. And it's kind of repetitive already, so we kind of want to break it up. So I'm thinking, okay, so I built a quick border around the one room we already have. And we can't really go within this border, because that border is for that room. So we can do anything other than that border there, you know? Remembering that all wiring 
and that room was one block thick. I'm thinking if we do go random, which is what I'm hoping we do with this house, it doesn't really matter how thick the walls, you know, how much wiring is behind a wall because it won't be symmetrical. So it doesn't matter if one wall is like five blocks thick for wiring because who cares? Um, so I'm thinking we could have like a, a kitchen thing going on here. Uh, we'll just throw down spruce for now. We have like a kitchen counter thing. Kind of seems a bit out in the open. How do how, how do kitchens how do kitchens work? Maybe maybe this could be the back of the kitchen. I don't know. It, I I also find it kind of hard because it's such a big open space. It just feels weird. Feels feels wrong. It doesn't feel right, man. Maybe it's these really wide walkways. I don't know, something something just feels wrong. Something somewhere. Anyway. I guess I guess we gotta get started. Maybe maybe the secret is we just need to shrink this. It's too open, so whoa. I'm getting some strange lag. Three frames per second is how you see it, and that's what's dropping down to, so I guess I can't complain. Okay, so this is aligned with this wall. We might not actually get to the infinite water source this episode. Um, just because I'm doing some designing. Okay, so maybe we can... Uh, yay, like, uh, so maybe we keep this uh, pillar here. Maybe. We'll see. We'll talk about it. And then maybe we bring it in, like, three blocks... And make an archway. Put another pillar here. Nice three wide doorway. Yeah, that, that could work. Let's go. Oh my goodness, the lag. Can't even place blocks anymore. I mean, I know it's because it thinks I'm occupying the same block, but that's not how it works. Okay. Do we want pillars? Maybe we don't want pillars even. Maybe we just want an archway. You know how I make an archway? Use stairs. Stairs, guys. Stairs are the answer. Why don't we have any crafting tables? That's a real question. Is it all out here? Give it, give it to me. Can't sleep. It is night time. Just give it a second. You'll agree. Okay. Throw this crafting table down. Let's make some stairs. Okay. It's a good number of stairs. I like it. I like it. It's a it's a good strong independent number. Okay. Watch me try to make art. That's that's really what this episode is. Okay, okay. So far so nice. And then we just put stairs here. Is that good? Oops. Well, you see that isn't gonna work because then it just goes diagonal and you don't want diagonal. Um, maybe the stairs go there. I mean, maybe we do want the stairs like that. No, probably not. Let's put, let's put it sideways. Um, do we want to move this wall back one? Maybe. Do we want? Do do we? Do you and I? No, that's that's too horizontal, surely. Maybe, maybe if we punch up one, like that. Maybe it's just too low. Maybe it's a good angle, but it's just too low. Yeah, is that good? Is that what you want to see here in America? Oh my goodness. Should should I replace that block or should I just leave it like that? That's all these questions. So many questions. Put your back one. Building is difficult, guys. It's, it's my problem with Minecraft. Is I lack building abilities. Is that good? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe if we make uh, some half slabs. Maybe. It's very, very wide still, but. 
It kind of gives us an entrance. So now we could have the kitchen in here. Yeah? Yeah, is that, is, that, is that good? I think that's good. Yeah. Or maybe... Maybe we don't do that. I don't know, it's... It's so difficult. I kind of, I kind of want to move this wall forward, though. Just because I kind of want to fit wiring behind that wall. But maybe we could fit wiring on the other side. So if the wall is here... How much wiring would we need? Because we got to have a nice supply of water behind all the walls. You, you'll, you'll see. You'll see. Maybe we could make it a flat room like that. There we go. Perfectly in line with that pillar. It's like I planned it. It's like I planned it. Yeah. Except we wouldn't have to have a spruce, because spruce is a stupid color. Because it's inside of a room. Therefore, we don't need spruce. Um, we could make it colorful. Make the floor tiled. And then we could fit... You know what, let's go sleep. I, I mean, I love dying as much as the nice person, but... I'm trying building here. And I don't want to be interrupted in my building scenario. If you if you consider yourself a good builder, let me know. Give me some tips. Uh, teach me the skills of the trade. So I think every room should be uh, spruce from the outside. I think I think this is what we had decided. Spruce from the outside, but on the inside, we could have a second archway of the other color, whatever color we want our walls to be. White, maybe. I mean, <laughs> the floor. And kitchens are usually tiled, aren't they? So it's probably going to look like that. Do we want that? Maybe we have to be more creative. So it's not the exact same tiles. I don't know. Maybe something cheaper. Okay, so... If this was the place, then an infinite water source would be like... There, say. And let's not do that, because... That was a stupid thing to do. Why don't we just get rid of all the torches? I don't actually have torches, I have jack o' lanterns, so. Yay. Okay. So then what happens, right, is you take this water, and underneath it you have a piston that's butted. I don't know, how, how do you butter an upside down piston? I don't know, man. Oh, maybe, maybe it requires no piston. Maybe we won't decide on camera because maybe I have to go to my creative world and create one. Who knows? Maybe we should get rid of that water. Maybe. So many maybes. Don't dig straight down. So, stick your piston. And in case you don't know, piston's a uh, see through block and. Therefore, we can see, we, we keep the light. I can see the light. Do we have a shovel? We do have a shovel. A spade. Let's make a tunnel. An easy access tunnel. There we go. Perfect. So now, it'll, it'll pretty much look like that. We can have a kitchen, we can put kitcheny things in here. And this will be the kitchen. Yeah, we should move that wall back, shouldn't we? I mean, when you think about it, we're going to have a second wall here. Which means a second wall here. But maybe that's what we... Um, it's a very small kitchen. We want this place to be grand. The kitchen should be bigger. But at the same time... A small, a small kitchen sounds nice. Well, the outside wall has to be spruce, right? So let's say if we brought it back here. Now I know this isn't random because I'm doing it at these intersections, but you know, maybe we need some order to randomness. I don't know. And then maybe we could uh, then have wiring in the wall, right? That side, but. Maybe we could leave two blocks gap 
for wiring behind that wall. And have a kitchen like that, and put the water source there. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's absolutely fine. I don't blame you. I don't. I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm talking about either. Um, I'm trying to design a kitchen. Okay. In case you're completely lost, I'm trying to design a kitchen um, with a infinite water source, which I'm I'm sure you probably lost there because what on earth am I talking about? I know. I'm crazy, man. I'm crazy. It's okay. You don't have to pretend that I'm not crazy. I know, I know. So in the GIF, it was like five blocks away. But, you know, we can smaller scale it because uh, it's, it would be easier. Small scale. <laughs> and that's about all the reasoning you need. Here we go. The piston. Use a normal piston this time because why not? And run along. So there'll be wiring underneath, obviously. Um, and we can have wiring behind this wall and wiring behind this wall. Lots of space because I don't know how much this is going to take. And with all this space, we could have something else cool in the kitchen as well. You know, have more than one thing in the kitchen, more than just an infinite water source. I like it. I like it. So I guess the next steps is deciding the color palette. And I don't have those blocks on me, so I'll get right back to you. Well, actually, we're probably gonna have to be calling an episode here because I've been blabbering on for so long. But um, I was thinking we could have <clears throat> instead of a wooden look, you know, kitchens. Why would you have wood? It's gonna burn down. So. Go for kind of a stone look, I'd imagine, with the piston as well. And I was thinking we could have like a trim of this uh, stone stone slabs. And then maybe like, maybe like a quartz or something. Like, we don't want stone like that. Oh my goodness. Oh, you are terrifying, sir. Absolutely terrifying. Um, Yeah, we don't want stone brick like this other room. I mean, we probably don't even want stone brick in this room. It was originally just going to be a placeholder, and I couldn't come up with anything better. I kind of like it. It's like a dungeon where you play chess or die. I don't know. I sort of like the stone brick in this room. But I definitely don't want stone brick it being in the kitchen as well. Especially if we're going to be stealing that floor. Uh, okay, that was strange. Almost crashed. I don't know what just happened there. Uh, Minecraft just, I guess... I guess bugged out like mad, I don't know, I don't know, maybe the server's doing something strange, I'm not sure what's happening, anyway, probably going to be a cool an episode here, yeah. uh, might have a tiled floor like in that room, which would be unfortunate, coincidence, but at the same time, what can you do, um, but yeah, I might just continue to stone around, have white walls or something, iron, iron block walls, that would be the best, probably, expensive but we don't have a beacon up right now so we could use the beacon blocks <laughs> until we decide on a place to put the beacon yeah maybe we'll do that I don't know I'll see you next time on mine turtle Woo. where we hopefully install the actual water thing bye bye